this video, we will learn how to construct a binomial probability distribution. We've learned how to do discrete probability distributions before, but we're looking at the special kind called a binomial random variable and constructing all its possible outcomes along with its corresponding probabilities. We'll use Excel to help us with this, and we're going to calculate the probability of an exact number of successes using binome.dist. Remember that X represents the number of successes, N represents the number of trials, P represents the probability of success in each trial, and when we say false here, it's because we're telling it not to give us, we don't want the cumulative probability, because it's going to basically ask us, do you want this to be cumulative? And we're going to say no, because we want it to be an exact number of successes. So this reads the probability that the random variable X takes on a specific number that we specify. Later, we'll also use it to find the probability of X or fewer successes. And the only difference here is that we're saying it's the random variable taking on any value that is equal to or less than the value specified. And all we have to do to change from an exact number of successes is just tell it true for cumulative. All right, so here's an example of a random variable that we saw in a previous lesson or uh, an earlier part of this lesson. And we were just trying to determine if it satisfied the requirements of a binomial random variable. And this one does because it has a fixed n. We're going to roll the die five times. It also has only two possible outcomes every time we roll the die. We are separating it out to either we get um, we either get three dots on top or not. And each roll is independent, meaning that if I get a three on the first roll, it doesn't make it any more or less likely that I would get a three on the second roll and so on. And also every single roll, I have the same probability of getting a three. It's always going to be one out of six. So because of that, this is a binomial random variable. And now we want to construct the probability distribution. All right, now this is what it will look like when we finish. And what you see here is I have my number of trials, my probability of success as a decimal, one out of six, and then one minus P gives me Q, the probability of failure in each trial. And then I used those values along with my numbers of successes that could happen. I could get zero threes out of five rolls or only one three out of five rolls, and that one three could be the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth roll. So there were several different outcomes that would satisfy one success out of five, and so on. So I have zero successes, one success, two, three, four, up to five successes, meaning that all the rolls landed on three. So using the binomial probability distribution function, binome.dist in Excel, I calculated those probabilities. Now, to verify that that made sense or that they were right, I also used the mathematical formula, which remember is just the combinations formula times the probability of success to the power of the number of successes, then times the probability of failure to the power of the number of failures. So you can see I have that organized into these columns. And if I were to multiply across these three values in one row, it'll give me this answer. So before we do some experimenting in Excel and you want to be able to watch what I actually do, I want you to be able to read these tables. Okay, so assuming you've constructed it or even that you've just been given a table, and asked certain questions, I want you to be able to use the table to answer those questions. So some questions you could have are in the table, locate the probability of exactly two threes. So let's say we got two successes. We rolled a three two times out of the five rolls. We can look at this table right here and know what that probability is. So here's two successes, exactly two. And here's the probability that corresponds with that number of successes. So the answer is 0 0.1608. So probability of two, this is shorthand notation that just means exactly two successes is 0 0.1608. Or we could calculate two or fewer threes. So let's say we were 
we would consider it favorable if we rolled a three twice out of the five or once out of the five or zero out of the five. And so in that case, you would need to add these three probabilities together because it's an or, right? Two or one or zero. So let's add all those probabilities together using the addition rule. So that would give us the probability of x less than or equal to two is 0.9645. Now the probability of more than two threes would be the complement of this, so you could just subtract this number from one, or you could add together these three probabilities down here, right? So the probability of getting three successes or four or five, so we add them all together and we get our total probability, cumulative probability, right? Okay, remember also that we learned you can calculate the probability of x or fewer like this by using binome.dist and just saying true for cumulative. Okay, let's look at another example. In another video, we'll actually walk through how to do the construction. So here's another one. This random variable is the number of times we get heads in four flips of a fair coin. Okay, so in the table, let's locate the probability of exactly two heads. There you see it's 0.375. Two or fewer heads, add these up, and you get 0.6875. Or more than two heads, add those up, and you'll get 0.3125. All right, now let's go to another video and learn how to do the construction.